Captain Gunborn, Troll Blood Trollkin Warlock. Magdoin, I have mercy on our enemies because I will not. Captain Gunborn. Born amongst the Trollkin of Sorel, Gunborn spent his youth in city streets and dock working where dockside warehouses, far from the ancient villages traditionally inhabited by his people. His father, a once powerful warlock, had allowed his own mystical potency to go into atrophy, likely from drunkenness and isolation from the wild. As a youth, Gunborn was never exposed to full blood trolls. While he heard the stories of the exploits of wilderness warlocks, he was convinced such tales were just myths of his people. The poverty of his tribe disgusted him, and he turned his back on the Trollkin community. Gunborn embraced the human nation he saw as his true homeland and enlisted as a trencher when he came of age. Although Trollkin are uncommon in, are, are uncommon in the Signaran army, they are almost never turned away due to their great strength, endurance, and natural loyalty. In the following years, Gunborn quickly rose through the enlisted ranks and earned an officer's commission. Gunborn's no-nonsense attitude earned him the respect of his men, and his grasp of strategy and careful tactical planning earned him his company many dangerous and high-profile missions. During Signar's retreat from the North Guard, Gunborn's composure served as a rallying point for the trenchers at under his command. The survivors still speak of their captain, standing like a rock in the chaos of the retreat, fighting a one-man rearguard action. Throughout his Signaran military career, Gunborn increasingly took notice of the displaced Trokan refugees pouring from the Thornwood and other contested regions. When his superiors ordered him to oversee the displacement of a smaller Krell, Krell near Port Bourne, his, his grimly resolved to do his duty. During the action, an elder Trollkin refused to vacate his ancient stone hut, and Gunborn found himself screaming at the aging Trollkin before striking him to the ground. The elder's staring reproach shook the warrior to his core. Other soldiers set fire to the village before he could respond, and Gunborn could only watch as the Trollkin were dragged from their homes and pushed towards the road. Reeling from his epiphany, he left his company to make his way back to Sorel and seek guidance. He went to beg the forgiveness of his father, but the elders sadly told him of his, of his sire's ignominious death m months earlier. Sensing Gunborn was on the cusp of a spiritual transformation, they advised him to seek out the great chieftain, Madrak Ironhide, whose deeds have already made, been made famous throughout the scattered Creels. The chance to put his military training to a noble purpose appealed to Gunborn. As the warlock reached Krell Valley, where Ironhide's Thornwood refugees were gathered, Gunborn felt his blood quicken and his awareness heightened. Not only did he find welcome among the community's Trollkin, but he experienced an immediate connection with the full blood patrols gathered there. He knelt before Ironhide. Without a word, Madrak placed his hand on the young warlock's head and welcomed him back to his people. Since then, Gunborn has used every waking moment to help the Trollkin better themselves. He rapidly learned to harness the power of full blood trolls passed down from his father. He is a stern but proficient taskmaster, determined to make warriors of the dire of all the trolls, Trollkin and pygmies alike, he leads into battle, and daily his troops grow ever more practiced and deadly. Gunborn was away recruiting for the maid for the cause in Mercure when Signarn's fourth army attacked Krell Valley and forced its defenders to withdraw from the Gnarls. He regrets that he was unable to lend his support, but believes he may have found a better long-term solution. His time with Signar has convinced him the Trollbloods must become a real nation with a real army, and he intends to see that come to 